Hey everybody, it's Joe, welcome back. Today we're gonna take on five different common kitchen hacks. And we're gonna find out once and for all if it's a hack or a hack. So you ready? Let's get into this. The first hack we're gonna tackle is using a hot knife to cut pies and cakes. The premise is pretty simple. Pies and cakes tend to stick to your knife whenever you're cutting through them. And if you're using a hot knife, you should be able to cut right through without anything sticking to the blade. All you gotta do is take a cup of water and heat it up in the microwave for a little bit. It doesn't have to be boiling or anything, but you want it to be hot. Be careful when you take that hot cup out of the microwave. Then all you have to do is put the knife in the water for about 30 seconds or so to get it nice and hot. Wipe off the water and then use it to slice through your cake. We went ahead and used a semi-melted cheesecake. And as you can see, the hot knife cut right through that thing like butter. Easy to do, easy to test. So obviously this first one is a hack. Hack two is removing cooked corn from a cob using a bundt cake pan. For this, you just go ahead and boil up your corn on the cob. When that gets done, let it cool down for a couple minutes. And in the meantime, you can take a second pan and put a bundt cake pan on top of that. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna push the corn on the cob down through that hole in the middle of the bundt cake pan and all the corn kernels are just gonna fly off into the bundt cake pan and the clean cobs are gonna fall right off into our lower pan. Well, this turned out to be a big mess. Pushing the cobs through that hole in the middle is tough. It does fit through there, but as you push down, the corn tends to explode and you get a half a kernel into the pan and juice all over yourself and on your countertop and on your appliances and on your floor and everywhere else that's not in your stomach. It took us something like 30 seconds to do each one of these when I could have just taken a knife and cut the corn right off the cob and be done with it. And what I ended up with was a big mess and a trip to the closet to get my mop. I don't know why anybody would put themselves through that. That is definitely a hoax. <laughs> Hack number three involves making nice frothy milk to go on top of your coffee. Some of us have automatic milk frothers. Some of us have cappuccino machines that do that, but the vast majority of us just have coffee makers. For those people, you can try this. Just take a mason jar, fill it up about a third of the way with milk, seal the lid onto the top, and then give it a good shaking for about a minute or so until it thickens up to the point where you can't hear it swishing around in the jar anymore. Then go ahead and remove the lid, put the jar in a little bowl, and microwave that for about a minute or so. When you pull that out of the microwave, you should have nice hot milk and a nice thick froth on top. When we pulled that out of the microwave, it was confirmed. We had nice hot milk and we had plenty of foam on top too. That looks an awful lot like a restaurant cappuccino, which means that is a certified hack. <laughs> hack number four, using a spoon to remove the skin from ginger. Typically when you get ginger from the store, what you end up bringing home looks kind of like a tangled mess. What most people do to remove the skin is basically just taking a knife and trying to cut it off. That works fine, but anybody who's ever done that knows that you probably lose about half of the ginger trying to do that. For this hack, we're just gonna use a small spoon and try to scrape the skin right off. This is one that I hadn't tried before, and it actually amazed me because I can't believe how easy it was to get that skin off. And really the spoon only takes off just the skin and maybe a tiny, tiny bit of ginger there also. So almost the entire ginger root is left intact. So this one I'm happy to say is another confirmed hack. By the way, if this is your first time here and you want to learn some cool new recipes, get some great cooking tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. Hack number five is a pretty controversial one. The idea is when you're boiling pasta, you can just take a wooden spoon like this and set it across the top of the pot. And when the pasta starts releasing all of the starch, the presence of the spoon will keep the pot from boiling over. I've heard people swear that this works and I've heard people swear that it doesn't. So we went ahead and boiled some water, threw some pasta in, had our temperature all the way up. And as soon as I started seeing some foam form, I went ahead and put this spoon over the top of the pot and waited. And as you can see, that foam is slowly building its way to the top and it kind of holds there for a little bit. And now you see it just flowing right over the edges, whether that spoon is there or not. I've heard some people say that it can't be a regular spoon and it has to be a coated spoon. And some people say it needs to be a plastic spoon. I don't know about all that, but I do know if you don't run your burner at maximum temperature, it's not gonna boil over. As you can see, I just turned this down one on my setting and all the foam just magically disappears all by itself and it never came back. But for our purposes here, we're gonna call this one a hoax. Well, that's not bad. You got to learn three good hacks and two, not so much. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about Joe's Phenomenal, you can watch a couple more of our videos or visit us online at joesphenomenal.com. I thank you so much for hanging out and watching this video with us and hope to see you again really soon. So until next time, I'm Joe, and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.